Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Nanal is it done? I remain your host, Shadow Fury 333, and we have a match between Gulfrog and Lori. Actually, a series between the two of them, apparently. They played some matches a few days ago, starting on Inculta, which is where we are right now, a map which is very flat, rather vehicle focused, and kind of unlike Red Comet, it's a map that tends to focus a lot more in the center. Red Comet, you tend to get this split, like, just you get the split down the middle. But this map is larger and typically is much more mobile. You'll find units just going around the entire map. In 1v1, the entire map gets used in a way where the edges are actually more tactical for flanks, and then people try to take the center. But the center is usually very contested, rather than being split down the middle. If the center is claimed, usually the person claiming the center wins, but not always. It's, like I said, rather contested. And then, of course, the sides are taken. It's just, it's... It plays like its sides would kind of suggest. There's a lot of room to go around. The loader going for heavy tanks, which is... Which has been, from time to time, their favorite factory. And I guess it's their favorite factory again. Goofrog going for light vehicles. No one going for hovercrafts. No one wants to play the scalpel meta, apparently. Everyone wants to just be playing with the standard vehicles and tanks. Lodi going for the typical Kodachi and Panther startup. Google Frog going for Scorcher. Scorcher Dart, not going for Slasher. They, I guess because of the size of the map. Google Frog does from time to time go for early Slashers, but on a map this large, I'm not surprised they aren't. It's just, it would be really difficult to to take, threaten, or consolidate. Actually, consolidation is not so bad. But taking a threatening territory with Slashers compared to Scorchers, I mean, Scorchers just have the speed advantage. Slashers for the hard push, maybe, but not. I don't think this map supports that especially well. Titan Duel, the Red Comet, sure, those are small enough. But in Culta, I, I'm i not surprised. I'm just not surprised at all. Lori got spotted. I don't think the... I don't think the factory was revealed. I think that Google Frog still doesn't know it's heavy tanks. I mean, they probably assume it's heavy tanks because they haven't been hit with a Scorcher yet. And it's Lori. But we'll see what they do when they find out. And now they find out. So Google Frog knows. There's not much that Google Frog's likely to change about the strategy at this point. Slashers, I mean, sorry, Scorchers do okay. Slashers would be kind of useful, but at the same time, I mean, Heavy Tanks doesn't have that much mobility. It has some mobility. Kodachis and Panthers have a fair amount of mobility, but light vehicles tends to outclass it for mobility. That's pretty much the difference between them. And I don't think Google Frog's going to want to give that up. And apparently not. They're pretty much focusing entirely on darts. I guess they just figure, well, forget it. If my units are going to get one shot or two shot, I might as well just take advantage of the low fire rate. So Kodachis and Panthers get such, such a low fire rate that darts make sense. Although I don't think Google is going to go mass starts. I think just enough to provide a bit of a distraction. But they may. We'll see. I kind of doubt it. I think what will end up happening is they're just going to go for that until they see either a Banisher switch or I guess enough Panther. No, Panther shouldn't be that big of a problem. But yeah, Banisher switch would be the thing I'd expect. Or possibly Reaper switch. Yeah, that'd be the thing I would expect would stop the darts from coming in. But at this point, Google Frog has not really made that clear what they intend to do. Other than expand. Pressure and expand. Just keep Lori from being confident about moving out. Which at this point hasn't really paid off yet. We'll see what happens pretty soon, but Google Frog, they are expanding, but they have started out a little bit slower. Lori had a bit of a head start on expansion. And getting... Oh, they can't get rid of the welder? I don't think they will, actually. Oh, just barely. Just barely managed to get rid of that welder, but at the same time, losing their pressure position, and now they have to rebuild. Gotta get more Scorchers going, or something. What are they planning on doing? Okay, nope, just getting more Masons. I guess they expect that'll take too much time for Loader to get in. They want to build up as much as they can and then get that clutch timing for defenses. Although, at this point, they actually have some static defense. Probably not enough to stop a Kodachi, but still, this should work out okay. Clutch timings, but it'll work. 
I guess Scorcher or two will be up by the time the Kodachi becomes a threat, and that should be able to deal with it. Or at least it would if the Fusion Reactor wasn't taking all that build power. I'm not sure what the intent there was. That, that Scorcher was... I, I like the timing of the Scorcher, I really did! I don't understand why that Fusion was put there, because now it's down to Lotuses. Rather than Scorcher-supported Lotuses, that would have been a really nice clutch timing for defense. I think that was a mistake. I'm pretty sure that that fusion was meant to happen after the Scorcher was done. But no matter, Google Frog's not in any major threat. And that's going to be really useful. It'll use up all of their... well, it'll get them a bunch of energy. Also some overdrive, but mostly a bunch of energy so they can produce very effectively. Lori, however, perfectly fine for power. Also, continuing with the Kodachis, raiding as much as they can, which at this point isn't actually that much. They aren't dealing that much damage compared to what Google Frog has, and while Lori does have the advantage of economy, it's something Google Frog can pretty easily equalize. They have workers everywhere. They have a worker over in the south, one in the center, they the command in the center, they have one over the north. They're going to be rebuilt, actually two over to the north. They can easily rebuild all of these metal extractors. And now they have a fusion plant with the attendant overdrive, though admittedly that's not a huge amount yet. But it soon will be. So yeah, Google Frog's doing okay. Going for an air switch as well, and now the Scorchers are building up. There we go, going in for another round of pressure, and the Reaper switch has happened. Reaper and Banisher are just now coming into play. That will be... well, the Banisher, yes. The Reaper... Reapers are tricky. Reapers are great for base destruction. When you're dealing with stuff like Scorchers, Reapers can be a little underwhelming. Because Scorchers can basically run circles around them and never get hit. Or very rarely get hit. The Scorcher does get hit, it's one shot. I think it's one shot. Force one. Oh, yeah, that's probably a one shot kill. Oops, that's not a welder. There we go. Reaper, 320. Yeah, that's a one shot. 640 damage a shot. Lodri coming with a gunship, but Google Frog already with the air. Oh no, the air plant not finished. Not sure if that's a priority thing, or... Because that's on mid. That's on mid. Yeah, not sure if that's a priority thing, or what. Oh, wait, what am I saying? No. <sighs> Silly. Factories not build themselves. They need something else building them. I... I'm being silly. And there's the Reaper, but I don't think that's as big of a threat as Lori probably expects it to be. Because now Google Frog has loads of Scorchers able to go around the map against one Reaper. I mean, Google Frog doesn't have to fight the Reaper, they can just avoid it. They can raid around the map, avoiding that Reaper, never getting hit by anything. And there's one Panther, one Kodachi to the south, and that's about it. The north side's about to get knocked... oh, not even. Nope, Google Frog not even going for that. It probably would be knocked down if they attacked it, but why bother? The important thing is this line of Scorchers coming along the south, and of course, eventually the Ravens. Gunship plant up, nothing being built yet. Rapiers are on queue, never mind. Not nothing, Rapiers! Rapiers are being built yet. The Banishers are a good choice, but that's... By the time that becomes relevant, Lord will have lost most of their base and their commander, which is about to die. As soon as Google Frog wishes it, that commander is dead. And the middle of the base, the north side of the base, well, the north side of Lotus territory, the middle of the south of it, not being attacked as hard, but the middle is being attacked very hard. And the Ravens haven't even come up yet. This is not good for Lotus. Not terrible yet. I mean, it's just more, it's kind of an, it's a tough being pressured position. The bigger problem is just how much territory Google Frog has and how quickly they're expanding. Like, how many workers they have around the map. Lodri has one over to the north and their commander to the south. Google Frog has pretty much an arc of workers. Like, look at Google Frog's workers and their commander. It works to the south, works to the north, the commander in the center, and the workers to the south are splitting up. While Lodri, on the other hand, they have one worker to the north, and that's it. Like, the rest of their workers are all in their base. They have one in the north, their commander to the south, so they simply cannot expand as quickly as Google Frog. That's the bigger problem. Google Frog going in for Fusion Snipe, which will eventually reduce Lori's production capacity. That will bring it down to 41 energy, and from there it'll be a bit harder to build up. Not that much harder, 
I mean, there is still energy reserve. That'll last for a good long while. But it's annoying. And it does reduce the overdrive. The important thing is not so much that kill, but rather... The Scorch is coming from the front. Like, that's the thing. The important stuff... Like, that fusion plant, that's gonna be a problem. That's gonna limit Lodri's ability to reclaim. More than anything. Like, if they try to reclaim now, they're gonna excess. They only have 500 energy, in, or rather 400 by now, in reserve, so they really can't do that. So yeah, Lodri's still going for it. They're still putting metal in storage. They're still gonna... I mean, they're gonna burn that energy... If, even if, if they have to burn the energy, they'll burn the energy. They need that production. But like I said, that's gonna that there's a hard time limit on that, and that time limit is about five seconds. So right now, Google Frog basically just solidifying their advantage by killing that. Because now that that's done. Now only about 38 build power can be pushed into this factory, and this reclaim will soon excess. Google Frog, however, does need power of their own. They and they have their fusion plant. Going for the other one, but yeah, this is still the production advantage for Google Frog. Nice proxy airbase, by the way. Airpad right up front. Reaper trying to get rid of it. Google Frog's commander going to be able to defend it with some help. But only with help. And here's the help. Scorchers coming in. A dozen Scorchers to help out. Get rid of that Rapier. I'm sorry, not the Rapier. The Reaper. Rapier is also posing a small problem, but only a small one. Lodi right now looks like what they're trying to do is, well, raid. I mean, actually, not so much what they're trying to do, but probably what they should do. They have the Reaper, sorry, they have the Rapiers, they have that mobility option. There isn't much anti-air. There's a bit, but only near Google Frog's main base and that north side near their commander. The rest of the map is pretty open. Google Frog can be pretty heavily attacked. And Fusion Reactor being rebuilt for Lori. But that'll take a while. That is rather unfortunate. Though it is nice for Lori that they had a stable energy infrastructure otherwise. If Google Frog were to lose their fusion reactors, they would be in a much worse position than Lori was. But at the same time, it hasn't come up yet. And Google Frog's got that well defended. So yeah, at this point, Lori just... It's really tough for them because they're trying to deal with... their slow units on a large map against very fast and numerous units. And the Banishers are helpful for the numbers. But the speed just kills it. I'm a bit surprised they haven't pushed almost everything into the gunships. Or... I mean, I guess the Rapiers... The Reapers are needed for ground attacks. The Rapiers aren't actually as useful. The Tridents would actually... Tridents, I'm surprised they aren't building, come to think of it. I mean, they are now, but... That took a while for them to build those. Considering the Bombers have been in play for some time. I and mean, how many Bombers are there now? There's ten Bombers in play. They've been in play for the last... Two or three minutes. And no Tridents have yet to be built. And Tridents are just going to be built... Soon? Maybe? No, not even. The priority is just too low. Once the fusion plant's done... And finally, finally Lodi gets their energy infrastructure back up. They don't have to worry about accessing metal. Finally on par with production, but at this point it may be too late unless they can stem the tide of these Scorchers, and I don't think they have much in the way of doing that. No defense at the southeast. This entire southeast side is completely destroyed, which leaves the northeast, and with that, not enough territory to really mount any effective offense. Google Frog not even destroying this yet. They probably should, but not worried about it so far. But yeah, that southeast is dead. The northeast is still in a decent position, but fairly attackable. Like there's defense turrets here, some defenders over to the north. There are very nice open paths to dealing with this. And Lori realizes there's not much they can do, throws in the towel. That was kind of interesting, but yeah, really... Hard to say what could have been done, other than sticking to Kodachi and Panther longer. Just because that, like I said, the map, the, the map rewards movement. The map allows you to really go around it, really work with what's there, and load it with that excess due to losing the fusion plant. Lost the fusion plant was a pretty big deal, but honestly I think Lodri handled it okay. They had a stable enough energy infrastructure, it didn't completely destroy them. But it didn't help. I mean, it kind of went from being even to falling. Cause is there energy produced? Where's that break? Oh. Oh, there's no rate of energy production. Yeah, if there was a graph of energy production rate, I could see when, when the fusion plant was destroyed. I think it was around here. Not entirely sure.
Yeah, I mean, the, I guess look for the inflection point, I suppose. So yeah, Lori. How many units were built? They built fewer units, that's the thing. They're actually fairly efficient with their units, they just built less of them. I mean, okay, heavy tanks are going to be efficient. That's just the thing. It's more... It doesn't even matter how much they built. I mean, it kind of does because of the size of the map, but it's more their units couldn't get around to doing what they needed to do. That was the problem, more than anything, I think. And also the fact that Google Frog had, like, five workers... Well, Commander and four Masons up front, expanding in a big arc, while Lori had north and south and a little bit of center covered. Google Frog was just expanding faster. That was the biggest thing. Google Frog had expansions going every which way. Which is something Google Frog does a lot, and it's a really powerful to it's a really powerful tactic. So next is gonna be again Google Frog and Lodri, but this time on Cull, a map we haven't seen very much, a very water-oriented map. It's a mixed map, but the center is all water, so we'll see hover or possibly amphib. Actually, more likely amphib. So that'll be up in just a moment. <laughs> 